We're back again with Andrea del Sarto, study for St. John the Baptist, and this is the axilla, the arm inflection, or the armpit. When the arm moves forward away from the body in a movement known as flexion, a small portion of the hollow under the arm becomes visible. This is the axilla, or armpit, where the arm emerges from the trunk. This pyramidal area is partly formed by the muscles that pass from the trunk to the humerus bone of the arm. The posterior fold or wall of the armpit is formed by the latissimus dorsi, number one, and the teres major, number two. They go from their origins in the pelvic and shoulder girdles, respectively, to insert at three and four in the humerus bone. In this view, the hollow of the armpit is concealed by the long head of the triceps, number five, you can also see the serrations of the stratus anterior, number six, that, with the rib cage, form the inner wall of the axilla, or armpit. The edge of the pectoralis major, number seven, which forms its anterior or front wall, is just barely visible beneath the triceps. Notice the contour lines of the latissimus dorsi, number one, teres major, number two, the infraspinatus, number eight, and the posterior, number 9, and middle, number 10 portions of the deltoid. Their lines converge as lines and wedge-like pointers from their inner bases to the outstretched arm. You can easily follow the rhythmic flow of these transitions of line and mass from the trunk to the arm.